In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the color property of objects in Roblox Studio. So for example, if you wanted to change the color of a part, such as the base plate, or even some kind of GUI object, such as the background color of a frame, I'm going to show you how to do that. So very, very simple. And all you need to do is when you've got your color property, for example, we'll just say game.workspace.spawn location, you say color, and then you have to give a color three. So color three is just a, a data type. It's a way of giving three numbers, which will form a color value. And what you'd usually say is color three dot new, but this is confusing because it won't let you use an RGB value. Well, it will, but it's not the typical zero to two five five values that you expect. So instead of saying color three dot new, say color three dot from RGB and then you can put your three RGB values in here and even better you can click on this little color wheel which appears underneath the numbers and this will open up the color picker and when you choose a color and press OK it will automatically update the numbers for you but it's not just color three dot from RGB you can also use color three dot from hex and you can paste in your hex string which would look something like this or you can also do from HSV which is hue saturation and, and value but typically you will just use from RGB because it's super convenient lets you use the color picker and it's the wide, widely accepted standard you know you click on the properties tab and you can see that the color gives you three values they are your RGB values so that is how you change the color of an object and let's just have a look here there you go it's changed to our color now one thing to note is you cannot save color three values into a data store so what you'd have to do is instead store these three values you could store them in a table that's fine but what you'll need to do is you will need to uh, convert them back to a color three uh, that's just something you'll need to know but for the most part that is how you change the colors of things using color three there's also brick color as well that's the old style way of changing colors but the way that works is instead of saying spawn location dot color you say brick color with a capital b and c and you set it to brick color dot new and then in a string in speech marks you will put the name of the color but to find the name of the color you'll use this little palette it's uh, it provides you these colors but you have to uh, keep them case sensitive so for example if we say uh, bright red it's got a capital B and a lowercase r so we have to type it exactly as it is just like that and that will also let you change the color but these days really all you need to use is color three and when it comes to uh, GUIs things like frames text labels text buttons you always use the color three values uh, however in a GUI You'll commonly see, if we just show you, that they have background color 3, border color 3, text color 3. They all end in 3. So just be careful of that when you're writing the property. But that is how you change colors using color3.fromRGB. 